Listen, this is a problem of the president's own making. He's been president for five and a half years. When's he going to take responsibility for something? All right. Well, there's the speaker here. And he's yelling about, as we know, uh, the president uh, and his handling of the border here and the immigration problem. Now, never let facts get in the way of a good story. You heard the conversation I had with Congressman Bishop. And this is the part that drives me nuts. So you guys actually play pretty good in Albany compared to the way it used to be. That all said, what should somebody do if you're an elected official and you know the following? The last president's the one who enacted a law that basically said, if you're not on one of those border states, we don't just deport you right away. If you're a kid, right. we put you through the process and everything. The last president's the one who tried to get immigration reform through, and he was a Republican, and the Congress wouldn't do it, and the president keeps trying to do it. They won't even let it come up for a vote in the House. So if you knew the facts were on your side, would you just say, what's the point, they're not going to listen anyway? Or would you be more vocal about it to try and convince the public, forget about the Congress, that the other side's fully you-know-what? Well, I, 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 you're getting at the fact that they're not always effective and they're frequently ineffective in messaging. And for ordinary people who are not steeped in every little detail that it's Central America versus Mexico, messaging is key. And I agree that on this and I thought on health care reform, they missed the opportunity to see something that most Americans supported by com communicating in a message that resonated with ordinary people. I totally agree on this. Yeah. I think people uh, have sympathy with children. I think they have sympathy with parents who put their children at risk because they think they can come here and achieve something better and they believe something bad will happen. I think there was a way to communicate. The law was actually different. As I recall, I raised this last week on this show that the law was different for Central America than Mexico. I think they have missed the boat in communication. But let that not be the end of the story. Communication is one part of it, and the substance is the other part. And we do need a substantive response. And the president came up with one. It's, it's unfortunate they don't like it, but it is a, he put something on the table, and we have to work. We but have to go forward. When the president said, we're not about photo ops, I thought that was the most naive thing I've heard. Of course politics is about photo ops. And you know what, Republican or Democrat, the really smart ones know how to use imagery to tell a story, especially if the other side's, you know, given their version of it. So when I hear that, I hate agreeing with the people who say, oh, he just needs to have a beer with a baloney. But you know what, if, you're, if they're not gonna engage you, you need to engage somebody because he's getting defined by the other side. But and he it's got been defined. six years, Come He on. got defined on this issue because they were too late. They so let the other side- Look at Iraq, they're trying to blame him for Iraq for I, crying out I loud. Don't, I don't disagree with you that on messaging, which makes it sound cynical, and I'm not a cynic, so on communicating the real goals that they have, I think they are not good enough. Do you, Andrew, think cynic uh, resident at the table what? that did two years left for the president and I know you say historically and you're right in the sixth year in the second term it's always tough regardless of the president and regardless of you know where we are in American history form holds can he still get a lot of stuff done I mean I think it depends on how you define your terms can he get a lot well, of define it by your way can what he, can he can get it, done can he get a lot of legislation through Congress no, no. I don't think that's going to happen. It's definitely not going to happen if the Republicans win the Senate. I'm trying to assume for using executive action. I don't think it, so how I don't think it can do happen it? With, with the way it's constituted right now. I, I think the president can still advance the, the ball towards the goal line, becoming sort of the preacher in chief and, and using the bully pulpit and using his moral high ground, which he's starting to do a little bit more uh, because he doesn't, A, he's not tethered by an election, B, he's not, I think he's realizing like, Midterms aren't going to go that well, even if I'm not involved. So I may as well get involved and do what I can. Uh, so I think he's going to try to be sort of a, a spiritual leader, a moral leader, some, something to to that effect. I might not be defining yeah. it quite right. Uh, that's where he can be at his most effective. I don't. He's also he is starting to get a little bored. I will say this: the whole thing at the bar in Denver and the the bear is loose that we keep hearing about the president's off the leash, so to speak, and and showing up at a burger joint in Washington it with no secret service. It seems early, he Dominic. Seems right? A it seems early. It's not like he's in year seven with six months to go or whatever. It does seem that he's throwing the towel a little bit. Maybe it's the optics of it. Uh, maybe that's not true. Maybe that's unfair. But he just seems resigned that I can't work with these clowns, so I'm not even going to try and put up a phony pretense that I want. I'm going to argue with you. That's a good way of putting it. As the kids uh, in the community would say, and I'm sorry, Richard, but as the kids would say, it's a wrap 
for President Obama. I mean, it's just the Republicans have defined him, accurate or not, so well that it almost looks like, and I hope this is not offensive to the president, like almost like he's bumbling and, and just doesn't get it. And it's so tragic when you look at the, the premise of where he started. The fact that he were able he was able to get mom and pop to donate five ten dollars for the first time in their life and to vote for the very first time in their life and to pull out all he was supposed to be in the JFK tradition, but he underestimated oh. those Listen. clowns. Okay, excuse me, I, no, the Tea right. Party folks. I, I gotta tell you, if I don't know about how you guys, but sometimes when you get a free minute uh, on the w weekend and you're not campaigning or whatever, politics is sometimes one of the last things you want to talk about, right? You want to take a little break for it. Some buddies of mine, some golf, but when I hear him saying, you believe what he's done with Iraq, or you believe what this president has done with immigration and the border, I'm like, oh my God, these are college educated and beyond successful and whatever, and they believe it. And, and I'm not, I'm more mad, not at the Fox News of the world, I'm more mad at the president for allowing himself to be defined by the the worst amateurs out but he, but there. But he can only do but so much, right? You know what? I hear that. I don't the, buy that. He can do a lot more than guys, he's doing. Those are the same guys in 2006 and 2007 were telling you how bad he was going to be. No. Uh, some of them voted for him, Andrew. And, they, and, some of them and, voted and, for him. I'm, I'm sure they did. I'm sure they did against John McCain and Sarah Palin. So it's, I, under, uh, I understand. It's not fair to but, only but say that also, it's also all say the other guys' fault. Year six of the Bush presidency was yeah. terrible. Year six of the, of the Clinton presidency was terrible. Year six, how much further do I have to go? Of Reagan, he was already half checked out. Year six of the Nixon presidency, he resigned. How far back do you want me to go? Thing like Watergate, but How, okay, but fair enough. It's, yeah. it, it's not easy to keep the momentum. And, and you forward. cannot, you cannot let the Republicans in the Congress off the hook. You just can't. I mean, they have done their best to be absolutely an obstacle to the, to the most uh, ordinary things of legislating, They've and they well. they have done very well. I grant you, Shelley, but his greatest gift was as a communicator, is as a communicator, I, I don't and disagree. he hasn't communicated for you know what. Okay. When we come back here, we're going to head closer to home and head out to the rails here where the Long Island Railroad workers threatening to strike if a new contract deal isn't reached. What kind of headaches do this mean? Well, we're going to tell you about that straight ahead.